new traffic lanes, not for cars, but for a fleet of e-buses. It now takes half as long to travel across Dakar. With tickets costing between 60 and 80 euro cents, passengers welcome the new service. With other means of transport, it takes at least two hours to get from Dakar city to the end of the line. And another benefit is, is that you feel safe on this bus. The new service is really useful because it cuts the journey times. And that's really important. The electric buses are better than cars that run on diesel or petrol. There's also air conditioning in the bus and plenty of room. Dakar's ambitious Bus Rapid Transit, or BRT, project is a public-private partnership supported with international funding. After five years of construction, the first e-buses were launched in 2024. The fleet now numbers 121 and connects Dakar's 14 communes. It's already had a positive effect. Now many people are leaving their cars behind to take the bus and avoid the traffic jams. This is a step towards a better infrastructure in our country. The city is now also more bike-friendly. A wide cycle path has been installed that runs parallel to the new bus lane in a move to motivate more people to switch from cars. Ibrahima Goué has been cycling in Dakar for a long time, mainly for work, and it's not without danger. You have to weave your way between the cars, which is really dangerous for cyclists. In Senegal, people drive very recklessly. That's why I'm really happy about the new cycle paths. It's much safer and easier to avoid accidents. Dakar's e-bus infrastructure is unique on the African continent. Other major cities such as Accra in Ghana and Nairobi in Kenya are keen to follow suit. There are just too many cars on the streets of Africa's big cities. Dakar's fleet of e-buses is operated by the Senegalese company Dakar Mobility. The state has a 30% stake in the company. The new service is part of the government's strategy to reduce gridlock and pollution in the city. The e-buses significantly cut carbon emissions and improve air quality. According to studies, the e-buses enable CO2 savings of up to 59 million tonnes per year. The fully electric buses are powered by solar-generated renewable energy. Dakar Mobility is also responsible for servicing and maintaining the fleet. In keeping with the green concept, even water usage is sustainable. To minimize the negative impact on the environment, our new car wash system works with a machine that recycles the water. This allows us to recycle up to 80% of the water used to clean the buses. The new system has also opened up job opportunities. Mamadou Diallo is one of the 750 people who have found permanent work with the BRT. After a short retraining program, he began working as a bus driver. At the end of his shift, he recharges the battery. Vehicles that run on diesel or petrol, combustion engines, cause noise and air pollution. With the e-buses, there's less of both. And that's also important for us bus drivers. They're better for our health. The new bus system is a huge improvement for the city. And this transformative shift has even been recognized by the International Institute for Transportation and Development Policy with its 2025 Sustainable Transport Award.